So I will talk about the beam design. And the beam design we have always to design for bending and check for shear. I will always use the following equation. And this equation is composed of um, maximum allowable bending stress and maximum bending moment and section modulus. And actually section modulus is as proportional to the moment of inertia. So we previously talked about moment of inertia. And you see here again the moment of inertia is an important element in the design. So you see the section modulus here is equal to moment of inertia divided by C. And C actually is as the depth divided by two. So it is a constant, the depth divided by two. So I'm just trying to make a note, note here that the section modulus is also um, like some sort of moment of inertia. <clears throat> now the design, the process of design is straightforward and easy. We follow three steps to design the beam for bending. Uh, these steps are, first step is you need to calculate the maximum bending moment. You will always be given the maximum level bending st stress, this one. Then you need to calculate the maximum bending moment at step number two. I need after that calculate the section modulus. So the bending moment need to be calculated using the maximum bending moment. You don't need to go through the process of calculating this via the maximum and bending shear diagrams. But you'll be given charts. And the charts are already posted on slate. So if you want to go and take a look at the charts, you'll see. Uh, I'll give show you an example of the charts here. So if you go these are the charts. So in the charts, this is an example of simply supported beam here. You see R is equal to V, that is the maximum shear. And the maximum bending is W L squared divided by 8. And the maximum deflection is given also. So all of this are highlighted. We'll go through an example to explain this. So again, the, the, the process is that you will be given the, the um, maximum level bending stress, always. And then you need to calculate the maximum bending moment with the help of the charts. And after that, you calculate the section modulus. And the section modulus, once it's calculated, you will be able to select a section. That is the end of the design. So let's go through an example to explain what we did so far. So let's take an example. Here's an example of simply supported beam with uniform distributed load of 2 and it's given that the question says design a steel section f for the shown beam to simply support the beam one roller one hinge roller and hinge and uh, it says the maximum allowable bending stress is given as 30 kip per inch square we always follow these three steps step number one is is to calculate the maximum bending moment. And we do this, we said, with the help of charts. So if you'll take a look at the charts now. Here's the chart, and you can see here, this is a case of simply supported here. And the maximum bending moment is given here. WL squared divided by eight. So you should follow this equation. So we say the maximum bending moment equation here is equal to WL squared divided by 8. So W is given as 2 kips per foot and L is 24 feet squared divided by 8 and this will be equal to 144 kip foot. So that's the first step. Now step number two. Step number two will be always step number two. This was one. Is to calculate the value of section modulus, which is Sx. And we do this with the help of this equation of maximum level bending, bending stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by Sx. 
which will lead to SX is equal to bending moment divided by FB. So I need to use this equation always. But I need to pay attention to the units but that is important. So SX is equal to bending moment we calculated this to be a 144 kip foot divide by FB is given in the question here so it's 30 kip per foot so 30 kip per inch square now if we look at we always we need to learn or use this this policy we always do the cancellation of units first and after that we do the conversion of units so once there's room for cancellation we do that and then we move to the conversion so as you see in here I have kips and kips can be cancelled can be cancelled out but I have feet here and inches here so I need to convert them and SX values are given always an inch to the power of 3 in the table so we might as well change the the feet into inches so to change this into inches I need to multiply by 12 so back this becomes equal to so if we do we do multiplication of the numbers we'll get this value to be equal to 57.6 inch to the power of 3 so that's step number 2 so I calculated this part also now step number 3 is straightforward is to step number 3 is choose a section from the given choose a section based on they calculated SX value. This is what we meant by the by strength of a section. So we, and based on the this type of loading and the beam, we need a section that can resist section modulus of 57. So I need to find a section that is capable of doing 57, maybe a little bit more. So if we go to the tables. I look for any section that will fulfill this requirement and probably uh, it will be something uh, uh, some W you can choose any section that fits W W12 so look at the this is the section modulus here so look for any value that is ab above 58 so if you look at here this is 58.1 so w12 so say w12 by 45 will give you 58.1 so we'll choose this section so I say use w12 by 48 because this will give us a section modulus equal to 58.1 inch to the power of 3 and that is greater than what we calculated which is 57.6 inch to the power of 4 that is okay so this is the end of the first stage of design the end of design for bending for bending moment